Welcome to Training Days. I'm Danny Kleppinger and I'm here with Coach Sherman because we're going to talk about wide receivers. So first, let's start with the types of receivers you have. And right here you've got the X and Z. Why are they called that? And, and what are the differences between them? Well, the difference is, is basically the Z will go to the two receiver side. So the tight end and the Z will go to the strength call. So if we said this is formation is I, I right. So the Y and the Z will go to the strength call. The X will always go away from the strength call. And also, when you get into the passing game, we have ways of just getting these guys in isolation. And by tagging it that way, it's, it's a lot better for them. Well, let's talk specifically about a route. What route do you want to talk to me about today? Well, I'm going to talk to you about the route that we uh, ran uh, in, Sa in San Francisco. And what we called it was uh, 22ZN. And basically, on that particular route, the receiver had at that particular time was Jerry Rice. And so basically what he had to do, he had to read how this corner is playing it. So for example, the 22 ZN is basically this. He's gonna push up to a depth of 12 yards and then he's gonna plant and he wants to work right back to the quarterback. So at depth of 12 yards. So if he had zone coverage, he's driving up the field uh, and then he's planting at 12 and he's coming back to the quarterback. If it was a situation, if it was a, a roll corner, Say, and he gives us a cover two look, half field safety. Then what he would do, he would uh, alter his release a little bit, widen in the corner, slipping him back inside, getting back on track, pushing up 12 yards, and coming back to the quarterback. If it was a situation, if it was man, and that corner is playing me inside technique, okay, now what Jerry would do, the receiver would do here, is he would push straight up the field, knowing that the corner is inside, and then he would plant at that depth, and he would come right back down the stem, knowing that this corner is playing inside technique. So the quarterback saw it, the receiver have to see it, and so now we know that that ball is going to be thrown to your outside shoulder off the technique of the corner. Now the third thing we would do, we got what we call two man. Now what happened is the receiver and the quarterback would have to see the same thing, and so sometimes the NFL, a lot of these teams do a great job of disguising coverages. But when we get a two man alignment, when he releases, what happens is in two man, this defender here gets in what we call a trail technique. So he's gonna trail just slightly underneath with this half field safety here. Everybody else locks up man. He locks up man here. He has the back man to man. Man to man, man to man. He rotates to the middle of the field. And sometimes what happens is these two, these two receivers, if he stays high, he may double here. They may take the back whichever way he goes. This safety now comes down and takes the tight end man to man. So in this case scenario right here, what we tell, t taught the receiver is when you release, we want to get on top, push up your depth, and if this guy is stacking you in this two-man technique, you make your move, and then you want to speed release at your depth, and it may be 10, and then you want to come downhill, cut this defender off, and then flatten across the field. So the quarterback and the receiver have to be on the same page and understand what's happening there. I know you've coached quite a few talented wide receivers. What have been some of their strengths and in routes. Well, Jerry, he did a great job of getting into the route. And he can really, and he was a tall guy, but he can drop his weight and get in out of the breaks very quickly. He had tremendous hands. He can catch the ball anywhere. When you take a guy like Randy Moss, Randy Moss has such tremendous speed. I didn't care if these guys were in zone or whatever. Randy Moss would have a route, say, for example, if he's running a go route, uh, he can just blow right by the coverage. Even if that corner is playing at eight, nine yards off, Randy can go by him. And then you get a guy like Dez Bryant. Dez is very powerful, he's explosive, and he has the ability to go up over you. So he's very, as you see, and when you watch him, he's very good in the, in the red zone because when they're one-on-one -on -one matchups, he has the ability to go up over a defender, or if a guy's playing on top, Tony Romo and Dez, they got a great, do a great job of throwing that back shoulder throw. So guys have different uh, abilities to do different things. You've got to, as a coach, you got to put those guys in those situations where they can have success. Now one of the weapons that you have on the St. Louis Rams is Kenny Britt, and I know we're going to watch a touchdown that he had against the Broncos last season, so walk me through this. Okay, right now in this situation, we're in what we call a twins with a Z short, and uh, Tavon Austin is coming in motion. We're going to fake the handoff to Tavon, okay? And so in this case scenario right here, this safety is coming up because we do run plays where we hand it to Tavon, but on the backside, we have our X receiver running what we call a deep over route just to grab this backside safety, and then in running this play, Kenny has a post route. And what he has to do is close the cushion on this corner right here, keep that post high, 
because what happens is when when the safety jumps to X, this corner now he's going to, you know, what we call he's going to trail, he's going to get deep. So that's the reason why we have to keep that post on this side, actually on this side of the hash. Now the quarterback sees it. He's got to determine what angle he wants Kenny to run, and Kenny does a great job of getting on the corner and making a, a great play right here. We want to make it look like he's going to run a go route, and then he puts his foot in the ground, and he runs right, you know, runs right by him and makes a hell of a play, heck of a, heck of a route and a great throw. Tavon Austin in motion. They fake it to him. He'll back, wants to launch. Will down the field. Kenny Britt running one-on-one -on -one coverage. Britt's got it. 20, 10, 5. A walk-in touchdown by Kenny Britt on a 62-yard strike from Sean Hill. And touchdown St. Louis Rams. Touchdown St. Louis Rams. <laughs> well, Coach, thanks for talking wide receivers with me today. Thank you. And thank you, fans, for tuning in to Training Days. <laughs>